Okay, 2.5, reason, um, reason using properties from algebra. Okay, algebraic properties of equality. Let A, B, and C be real numbers. If A equals B, then A plus C equals B plus C. Basically, you can add some number to both sides of the equal sign, and you still have an equivalent statement. Likewise, if A equals B, then A minus C equals B minus C. You can subtract something from both sides. If A equals B, then A times C equals B times C. You can multiply it to both sides. And if A equals B, then A divided by C equals B divided by C. So long as C does not equal zero. Okay? Also, if A equals B, then A can oops, be substituted for B in any equation or expression. Okay, so for example, solve this equation and write the reason for each step. So if we're given this, we could add x to both sides to get rid of the negative x. And this would be addition property of equality. Okay, that would make this go away and we're left with 3x plus 3 equals 9. That's because 2x plus x equals 3x. We're combining like terms. The reason, you could just say simplify. Now, if I were to subtract 3 from e each side, I would be left with 3x equals 6. This would be the subtraction property of equality. And then if you divide each side by 3, you get x equals 2. This is the division property. So the value of x is 2. Let's go on to the second page. Distributive property. If you have a times some quantity b plus c, you can distribute the a and get a times b plus a times c, where a, b, and c are all real numbers. So for example, if we're given this equation, the first thing you want to do is distribute, uh, distribute the negative 4. So I have negative 24x minus 8 equals 64. This is the distributive property. Okay, now I can add 8 to each side, so now I have negative 24x equals 72, because 64 plus 8 is 72. This is the addition property of equality. Now if you divide each side by negative 24, you're going to get x equals negative 3. This is the division property of equality. In this case, they wrote out property of equality for us. All right, I'm going to let you guys try these two. Okay, let's go on to page three. A motorist travels five miles per hour slower than the speed limit, S, for 3.5 hours. The distance traveled, D, can be determined by the formula D equals 3.5 times quantity S minus 5. Solve for S. Okay, so first thing I want to do, I want to distribute the 3.5. So I have 3.5 S minus, let's see here, 3.5 times 5. That's 25, let's see here, 15, 17, 17.5. This is distributive property.
Okay. I'm going to add 17.5 to both sides. So now I have D plus 17.5 equals 3.5S. This is the addition property of equality. Now to get, to get S all by itself, I have to divide both sides by 3.5. So now I have D plus 17.5 um, over 3.5. And this is the division property of equality. And that's it. Because we don't know what D is, we cannot get an actual numerical value for S. So this would be as far as we can go. All right, reflexive property of equality. For any real number A, A is going to equal itself. Okay, whatever A is, it, it's equal to itself. Same thing goes for if you have some segment, AB is always going to be equal to AB. And for any angle, the measure of angle A is going to be equal to the measure of angle A. Okay? Now, for uh, the symmetric property, this says if A equals B, then B equals A. Likewise, if AB equals CD, then CD equals AB. And if the measure of angle A equals the measure of angle B, then the measure of angle B equals the measure of angle A. All right, transit property, if A equals B and B equals C, then A equals C. If AB equals CD and CD equals EF, then AB equals EF. If the measure of angle A equals the measure of angle B and the measure of angle B equals the measure of angle C, then the measure of angle A equals the measure of angle C. All right, last page. <coughs> show that CF equals AD. Okay, now in this diagram we're given a lot of interesting information. We know that AB is congruent to EF. AB equals EF. That's given in the diagram. And we know that BC equals DE. Now we also know that AC is equal to AB plus BC. If you guys remember, this is called the segment addition postulate. Okay. Likewise, DF equals DE plus EF. Sorry, I didn't mean for those to overlap. DE plus EF. Once again, segment addition postulate. Now, we know that DE equals BC and EF um, equals AB. So I can substitute those values in. This is the substitution property of equality. So if DF equals BC plus AB, BC plus AB is the same thing as AC. Okay. Um, you know what? This is incorrect. This should be the segment addition postulate. Okay, so go ahead and cross that out. All right, so from here, DF plus CD is the same thing as AC plus CD. You can add CD to both sides. That's the addition property of equality. Okay? And DF plus CD is equal to CF. And AC plus CD is equal to AD. And this once again, is the segment addition postulate. Sorry about the mistakes. I didn't write this one. Okay? All right. So, you guys can go ahead and solve these. And that's it for today.